Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Looks like we might, might possibly have another bank failure starting right now, and I want to talk about it. It is PacWest Bank. Now, the reason why I'm talking about PacWest, not that I'm saying, you know, go run and take your money out of the banks and it's crashing. It's because it's hitting the headlines. And we're seeing today, story out of CNBC, I'm going to read it to you in just a second. PacWest falls more than 20% as regional bank stocks slide to new lows. I want to remind you, as we start to see specific banks fall really heavy, right? The actual percentage of loss is pretty dramatic. Remember that what happens is it, it exacerbates the problem. People start seeing it, they go, what's going on? You know, is this the next shoe to drop? And it becomes harder and harder for that bank to raise money, right? Especially as more and more people go to pull money out. Plus, if they need to raise money, their valuation's dropping, there's all kinds of issues. So let's let's talk about PacWest first before I dive into the story. So PacWest is headquartered out of Los Angeles, California. Um, the people that own PacWest is uh, primarily institutional investors. Okay, so this is very interesting to me. So first, when I start looking at this banking crisis and I start to see uh, heavy outflows as far as deposits, but on top of that, the stock selling off, the first thing that I start to think of is, are there insiders that are selling? What are people uh, thinking? You know, why is this an issue? Also, why is it hitting the news headlines? Because usually there's some people, the, the rumors mills running, Behind the scenes, people know what's going on. They just don't wanna come right out and say it yet. We saw the exact same thing happen with SVB and First Republic, okay? In the first like literally hours or days of that bank run happening, it was just, oh, this thing's falling in value. The stock is selling off, I don't know why. Uh, and then we found out a couple days later. Now I told you that I believe that you're gonna see a bank that is gonna go into a crisis either this week or next week, and it's gonna be somewhere in the uh, uh, Southeast region of the country, okay? Or Mideast area, you know, like around the Kansas City area. Or not Kansas City, but Kansas. Um, so this doesn't fit that bill. But check this out. A majority of the ownership in this bank, PacWest, is hold, held by institutional investors. Literally over 90% of the uh, ownership is institutional events in, in investors. Uh, this interest is also higher than that at almost any other company in the regional bank industry. So that's very, very interesting. Um, now, question, is Pacific West or PacWest Bank Corp uh, the same as Pacific Western Bank? PacWest Bank Corp is a bank holding company headquartered in Los Angeles, California with an executive office in Denver, Colorado with one wholly owned banking subsidiary Pacific Western Bank, okay? So it's a it's a wholly owned uh, subsidiary. Now, um, what does PacWest Bank do? PacWest Bank Corp is a banking holding company that specializes in financing and banking solutions through the Pacific Western Bank. It offers commercial banking services. Now, now this is, this is the key. Remember, I told you, this is what the house of cards that is falling right now. It offers commercial banking services, including real estate, construction, commercial loans. It also does comprehensive deposit and treasury management. So it fits the bill under what is going on right now in the current commercial mortgage-backed security crisis. So that's very, very important to understand, okay? These are the assets that nobody wanted to touch in both Silicon Valley Bank and you're about to find out in First uh, Republic. However, now that JP Morgan took them over, I have a feeling it's sort of a sweetheart deal. <laughs> Like, look, we'll take that crap assets too. We're big enough to absorb it, but we want some other things on the other side. Okay. So I have a feeling that's what's going on there. Um, now, what states are, uh, does PacWest, you know, work in? The region span 106 degrees. Sorry. Um, how big, sorry, how big is what I want to read? PacWest Bancorp is a bank holding company with over 41 billion in assets headquartered in Los Angeles. So you're like, okay, well compared to Ninja, compared to these other banks, it's really not that big, right? Because the smallest of the three banks that have fallen so far is like, I think 115 billion or 110 billion in size. That's the smallest. But you have to remember too, that, that every time where there's smoke, there's fire. And if there's another fire that starts in another bank, what's gonna happen is it's gonna make it even worse because they're going, oh my gosh, and then what's next? This is bank number four, okay? So I just wanna sort of show you that. So now let's read the story from CNBC. It's entitled, PacWest falls more than 20% as regional bank stocks slide to new lows. It says, uh, uh, the California-based bank was not the only regional lender under pressure. Shares of Western Alliance dropped 16%. Uh, the S 
SPDR and S&P Regional Banking ETF dropped 6.9%, but that's nothing compared to PacWest, all right? 20% drop. The steep declines deepen losses in the sector from Monday. Over the weekend, regulators seized troubled Regional Bank First Republic and sold it to JP Morgan Chase. The First, First Republic is the third failure of a large regional bank this year, following Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank in March. The reasons for Tuesday's declines were not immediately clear. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon said Monday that the, that the initial phase of the regional bank crisis was over. The initial. What does that tell you? There's more to come. The initial. And so what is the initial of anything like? It's usually the least, right? Uh, when we're talking about panic or market sell-offs, the initial phase is usually pretty, pretty easy. Comparing Bear Stearns to Lehman Brothers in 2008, totally different, right? Totally different levels of panic. Uh, First Republic reported to decline, uh, reported a decline in deposits of about 40% during the first quarter, raising questions about how the bank could survive on its own, right? So that's what started it. It says most of the regional banks reported smaller deposit declines. However, in some, such as PacWest, reported that deposits began rebounding in late March. So that's interesting. You're going, okay, well, wait a minute. If they're rebounding, they're coming back. Well, how bad is it? Now, truthfully, honestly, I haven't been able to see any actual data yet of how much money Pac, uh, PacWest lost originally in deposit outflow, and then how much rebounded, in their words, came back in. Now, it says here, we believe, this is a quote, we believe that banks with assets of greater than 500 billion and less than 60 billion are the clearest winners in the new world order. You heard that right, in the new world order. While there is likely to be a no man's land between 80 and 120 billion, as banks in this range may need to shrink to avoid new regulations or more actively engage in uh, M&A to increase scale and absorb, absorb regulatory costs. This came from uh, uh, Keller Brown and Root, no, KBW analyst David Conrad said in a note to clients on Sunday. Again, they're talking new world order, all right? The banks have a plan, and that's what you need to realize what's going on. Another issue for regional banks is the possibility of more Fed rate hikes. Higher rates will make it more costly for the banks to hold onto their deposits while also lowering the market value of the long-dated bonds and loans on their books. Remember, this, this all comes down to commercial mortgage-backed securities. The central bank is expected to raise its benchmark rate by 25 basis points um, on Wednesday, and I believe they're going to as well if... if I unless there's like some catastrophic news tonight. And I don't think that's gonna happen because the Federal Reserve has to raise these rates to get in line with the rest of the world because they have to offer some type of re return for any government or central bank wanting to hold US dollars on their balance sheet. So right here on Bloomberg, PacWest, Western Alliance stocks lead the regional bank sell-off, but PacWest is the biggest sell-off. Okay, so it's very, very important to understand that, that or to realize that there could be some issues. Tomorrow, if PacWest starts to sell off even more, I think we're going to see that turn into a problem. So I want to bring this to you right now. Let me down on, know in the comments if anybody works for PacWest and would like to uh, stay confidential and give me some information that I could share with everybody or anybody working at banks right now with uh, meetings that are going on. Let me know at ninjabrohawk at gmail.com. Please do not ask me, uh, uh, you know, financial questions to give you financial advice. I'm getting slammed with, with insiders giving me all kinds of information about the economy right now. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. Thank you so much for sharing the videos. The Economic Ninja is out.